my, my dad had market stalls and stuff. You know, they didn't go to shops till mm. I was getting a little bit older. When I was a little kid, I was hearing all this back slang mm. and stuff. And I and I grew up with it because my family were all in the same sort of businesses and uh, kind of grew up with it. And then it was going to die out without shadow of a doubt, mm. all the different types of back slang, which they did do because even Cockney has changed now. Yeah. It's, a, a, you know, a different, sounds different, different mm. dialect. So well, yeah, my father's I thought, well, I'll write a book about it. Yeah, so it, it was published by Avon Books. Is that, that's not Avon, the public, uh, the cosmetic company, is it? No, no. which it was. No, I was going to say. No, it wasn't. It was Avon Books. Yeah, and, was, uh, so. About a year ago, it went, uh, went broke as well, went bust. Oh, did it? So, so, it's no, so I got you... my, uh, my um, uh, you know, uh, what the, uh, my copyright back. Oh, have so, you? Uh, I own it now, so I can sort of sell it on a gig or two. Oh, that's good. So if people okay. come and so people come and see you. They can they can get one of these books. Yes, yeah, occasionally. I usually forget to take them. <laughs> <laughs> CDs and stuff, I, CDs and I love all that business. CDs we do. Yeah, but I always forget the book. Yeah, so, but, you know. I, I, I remember it's him. my sort of thing because my dad's originally from the East End. He, from, he comes from West Ham, and as I say, he not, not like yourself. He's moved out to Milton Keynes, but never mind. Yeah, I've yeah. got some. I got some little trivia things. I I, 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 I found out about you. One of them was uh, you, you and the Trams were the first and the last band ever to repair on Ready Steady Go. That's absolutely absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, that's uncanny, we were, isn't it? We were. Uh, responsible for that new style of filming which they did um, they, they, they decided to have people sitting down at tables and chairs mm. and in the studio with cameras mm. in special points you know and uh, we went on played Twist and Shout live because it was all live in those days mm-hmm. played Twist and Shout live and loud and they all jumped up and danced, and they were up on the tables and everything, and they said, that's too dangerous, we can't have them up on the tables. So uh, they said, what we'll do is we'll have them all dancing on the floor, but the cameras will have to go through and push them out the way. We'll have to have people, you know, in front of the cameras, pushing them out of the way so that we can take different shots. So... That was the first time, so they said, mm. that they did that kind of filming, you know, going right through the crowd. Mm. The other so, thing... Um, yeah. The yeah. other thing... Uh, oh, sorry. And the last one, so we opened it and closed it. Yeah. Well, I hope you didn't kill it, but never mind, we won't go on no, to that one. No, we could say we, <laughs> we were there at the birth and then we killed it off. That was uh, Cathy McGowan, wasn't it, did that? Um, was it Cathy McGowan used to host that? Yeah, Cathy McGowan. I do McGowan remember it. And a few yeah, others, of course she's oh, with. Um, actually, there was uh, Keith Ford, Ice yeah. DJ. Yeah, I remember um, him as well. Yeah, I've, who other... also was at, uh, around Essex for quite a long time. Oh, Keith Ford, Ice when he had uh, uh, when he sort of retired, he had an aircraft museum out at uh, South End. Really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he, he ran a museum out That's there. But your your daughters are, are very musical as well. I, uh, one of them's in uh, Alicia Zasic, which is uh, is it yeah. Karen? Both of them. They and the other one's in a, a, a. They started Alicia Zasic because they're very close in age, mm. and they started Alicia, Alicia Zasic when they were about uh, all fifteen or so, mm-hmm. and uh, decided uh, to record in a friend's. Uh, Mum and Dad's attic, and uh, they, that's why they called it Alicia's attic because mm. their childhood, um, their childhood, uh, the thing they blamed all the spillages and things onto was called Alicia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a, a an imaginary friend, you know. Mm-hmm. Did you do that? No, I didn't. Well, did you do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, it oh. must have been Alicia. Alicia. Yeah, and of course, your, 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 um, the other daughter is in um, Red Sky July now, a band called Red Sky July. Is that, That's right. That's Shelley, is it? That's right. Yeah, both both daughters were, were Alicia's attic. 
But now and, Shelley is with a, a and, bank. And then um, Red Sky July yeah. uh, are uh, a, a joint venture between my, my daughter and her husband. And her husband is with the, uh, with Texas. Texas, he's a guitarist, isn't he? Yeah, with yes, Texas. Yes, he's the guitarist yeah. in Texas. So they put together that, that band and they do quite a lot. They come out to, uh, they, they go out to um, all the places. They do quite a lot of live gigs as well. That's great, isn't it? Uh, so I, I love it because yeah. we get, we don't work all the time like we used to. We do a tour here and there. Mm. But uh, I, I get time now, my wife and me go out and see them. Well, that's good, isn't it? Ah, it's lovely to be able to Talk, do. Talking about you, good... My other daughter, Karen, is, of course, the, the writer behind uh, Kylie Minogue, yeah. Will Young. Um, Annie Lennox, she's uh, written for? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, lots of other people. A very, know. very talented family, then. Yeah, <laughs> they do. They've... Um, Terry, they've outgrown me, mate. <laughs> They're much hey, better songwriters than I ever was. Don't, uh, don't knock and, yourself, Brian. Uh, you were a huge, or you were a huge band at your time. And, we uh, were at our time. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I, I've got to say, doing these tours and stuff and working with the boys and everything, we all think the same thing. Yeah. Do you know, it's a massive, massive compliment that people still... Uh, not just come out to see us, but people still actually like us. People, you know, I, I think we're old blokes. Well, yeah, but talent or good talent always rises to the top. Doesn't matter what our era, what age, whatever. It, yeah, it's still, it's, it, you'll come to the top. Is right. What, what other, what other thing right, I was, you know, one other thing I was reading about you and the Tremlows. You're all married to the same wives for over forty years. Yeah, you mentioned your good lady just now, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we, we, my, my wife's Pam, and um, we, we've been, to, oh dear, we've been together forever. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yes, we, we, we're lucky, I suppose, you know, we, uh, you have your rows, we all do, but all the tremolos are the same as me. We just weren't like that. Our job, our, our rock and roll never came into our home lives. We were naughty boys out on the road, yeah. and we had a, a lot going on, and we were doing, you know, we were yeah. just like any other rock band uh, in the world, and, but we never, ever brought it home. No. By the way, it's 47 years you've been married this year, Brian. Is it 47? Just, oh, ju God. So just, just to get you out of trouble with the wife, just in case she's yeah, listening. Yeah, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of other things. I, I mean, you worked uh, on backing vocals uh, on one of the first package tours with Gary U.S. Bonds and, C yes. and Clyde McFatter. Gary U.S. Right. Bonds is an absolute legend, and Clyde McFatter, obviously, you all remember from the band The Drifters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I could tell you, oh, I will tell you, the lovely little story about that tour. We, it was a tour, and we, we did uh, about three quarters of it. We didn't do it all. We came in to sort of... Uh, uh, after about 12 gigs, I think. Um, and uh, <laughs> they, they, so whoever it was, the promoter, a guy called Hal Carter was the promoter, and he said, um, I, I've got this lovely tour, I'd like you to come on and do the backing vocals, because we'd already done stuff when we were uh, younger for Decca, for mm -hmm. Tommy Steele and... Uh, and oh. And U.S. Bonds was actually on this tour, and uh, and Clyde McFatter and all the, the, mm. these people were actually on the tour. And they, he said, we'd love you to come and just uh, do, the, do the show with them now on this tour. Offered us whatever it was, and we said, yeah, we'd love to. So we all went out and bought these lovely suits. We all went to Taylor's Embarking. Just remembered, it was called Jack Bunny. <laughs> we went to the, the Taylor's Embarking. We had got these beautiful greeny mohair suits made, uh, and we were going to look the business. <laughs> and we went went up to do the rehearsal for the show, and they put the microphone backstage. So we said, "Oh, fine, you know that's okay." Uh, when do we go on? And he went, "No, you don't go on." You're doing it from the backstage. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> we bought these new suits. <laughs> and do you know what we did as well? We put them on every night. <laughs> Just do <laughs> it. It did it properly. It's a bit like the old boobs BBC. and everything, but nobody saw us. <laughs> a bit like the old BBC newsreaders on the radio used to dress up, didn't they, in dinner suits, but never mind. That's right, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, and, and it was so funny when you look back on it. <laughs> oh, so funny. <laughs> Yeah, the other thing that I didn't know the Tremolos did, you, you sat, produced and sung vocals on the million selling hit Yellow River. Yes, well, that For wasn't Christy. me, but uh, Dave, Dave Munden mm. and uh, uh, Chip Hawks, out of the, the modern, you know, the mm. latest band, mm. um, Dave Munden and Chip sung the vocals on that. Mm. It was a production by Alan Blakely as well. Mm. So three tremolos on that Brilliant, out, of, out of five. Mm. So yes, that was another one that, that people don't, you know, don't sort of. Well, it's still it's never been sort of advertised or anything. No. Was, so you you've been was, back together now. Roughly, the tremolos have been back together for about ten years now, isn't it? Well, yes, we have. You know, um, we, we've it, done. We haven't been fully back no. together because the tremolos, as a band has been run all the time by uh, by Dave Munden mm. and Chip Hawks and me have been doing uh, as a double act, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, we've been doing that for about 10 years. But you see, when there's a special gig on, um, everyone wants us all back yeah, cause, together. Yeah, because, I mean, the, the, the information I got is you, you got together in... Uh January 2005, in a Tsunami charity gig, That's arranged right. by the Baron That's Knights, because they're local boys as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, that when it kind of started. We had, we had, um, um, it was, well, we did want to do something for that uh, fund. Mm. And uh, somebody said, <laughs> it was, uh, go out to Baron Knights, and he said to me, I'm putting on the show at the at the stables over in um, in uh, Wavendon. Yeah. And he said, uh, would you come and do it? So I said, yes, I'd be really pleased to do it. Who's the back here? Who's, who's the band? Or do you want my band? Or shall Chip and me do it together? And they said, uh, no, we've got the tremolos. So I said, wow. Uh, have you asked them yet? So he went, no, haven't, but they'll do it. So I said, well, I'll do it if they do. And of course, we all phoned each other up and said, did he ask you? And, and they, they said, no, <laughs> but we'll do it. And then, <laughs> same with me, did, well, did he ask me? No, not at first, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it, that's how it happened. We that's just went back, right. did the gig. But uh, Chip couldn't do it because he was away. Um, but uh, we had Mickey Clark mm. in that, who was another member of the Tremolos, uh, and also uh, a, a founder member of the Rubettes as well. Oh God, I remember them as well. Yeah. So, God, yeah. dearie me. It's, uh, yeah. Uh, l- uh, let's get away from the music. What do you do to unwind as a hobby away from the music business nowadays? <coughs> it doesn't sound like it, so I've got this... I've got, I don't know why I'm coughing today, first time. But, um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I always try to stay pretty fit. Yeah. Um, I, I've always boxed. I, I've gone really? to the North London um, Boxing Club, mm-hmm. out right, near where my uh, daughters live, near Hampstead. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I go there maybe once a week. I used to go a lot more, but I keep up my boxing... Uh, and it is good for your um, aerobics, mm-hmm. aerobic-wise. And uh, we walk, you know, walk a long way, my wife and me. Um, so, yeah, we we try and stay fit. That's really what I do to, you know, sort well, of wind down. That's a good thing. So let's, um, almost at the end of the, the sort of time together, so it's, a, it's been great talking to you, and it's, it's really nice, um, you know, going back over the years. But let's talk about this show. It's called the All-Star 60 Show, and it's um, 
Uh, all on one sh- one evening, you, you get to see a lot of music, a lot of bands. There's Brian Paul and the original Tremlos. There's yourself, Chip Hawk, Dave Munden, and you're going to be playing all the big hits. Here comes my baby. Suddenly you love me. Science is golden. Twist and shout. Do you love me? And then we got also on the bill the Trogs, and of course they all had they had a hit with Wild Thing and. 